Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an organization tips video and basically it's just going to be like, well it's kind of like a what's in my binder, what's in my book bag, stuff like that. Um, but like with tips, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So let's get started. Alright, so this is my book bag. I got it from Delia's. It's just got like polka dots and stuff on it. Alright, so this is my binder. I got a zip up one and I like zip up ones because um, if you have like loose papers, uh, loose papers floating around, uh, you can zip it up and they can't fall out. And usually they have pockets for like pencils and stuff and I like that too. That way you don't have to like worry about carrying one with you. Um, or like, forgetting it, I guess. So, yeah. Let's start off with the big pocket. Um, all I have in here is two folders. I don't use folders a lot, so that's basically why I only have two. Because I figured two would be enough, you know? So, just got two folders in there. And then in this pocket, I just have, like, the stuff you might use in, like, every class. So, like, obviously a pencil. And then I have an eraser. And then I have a few different kinds of pens because, um, I get bored if I just use the same pen all the time. So I've got a blue one, a red one, a green one, and a black one. And then I also have some lead. Um, I think that is it for that pocket. Um, I'll put all that stuff away later. And then in this pocket, it's kind of like just this Velcro thing. And as you can see, uh, I have four highlighters here. And usually that's why I have all of them. And then in this pocket right here, I just have some white out. Because everyone's got to have white out. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but right here, it's got a zipper, so it can zip all the way down to here, so it's like a little pouch, but I'm only going to unzip it to here, because I don't want everything to fall out. Alright, so the first thing in here is my calculator, and I'm not going to show it close up, because it's got my name on it, and I don't want people to see that, but um, it's just a Tex Texas Instruments scientific calculator, so... Yeah. And then the next thing I have are wooden pencils. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Uh, wooden pencils. Because I don't know about you, but when someone asks me for a pencil, I don't like to give them my mechanical ones. Because I never get them back. Like, seriously. I don't. Okay? Um... So, if you give them a wooden pencil, they'll either stop asking because they'll figure out that you're not going to give them a good one, or you just end up giving them a stupid pencil. So, yeah. And I got a few more of those. Alright, and then, let's see. I have... Uh, more mechanical pencils, just in case, like, I run out or something, or I need another one. So, got those. And then, I have three metallic Sharpies. Um, I like metallic ones because they'll write on anything, so, like, if you have to write on here, um, like, on something black or something, you could use these and it'll show up. Um, so... Yeah. And then I have some sticky notes because everyone needs sticky notes. And I have a pink, a blue, and a green pen. So, yeah. And I think that is everything. Yep. Alright. So, moving on. Back to my book bag. Um, I have notebooks. And I don't put my notebooks in my binder because last year it was just a hassle and my binder got like really full and hard to zip. 
So this year I'm just going to have them loose in my locker and I'll just pull them out with my book and my binder as I go to class. So I have one, hold on, I have one for English and science and social studies and then I have a big one for math. Because, I don't know about you, but last year I used like three notebooks for math. So I figured I'd just get a, um, a big one. Because this has like five notebooks in it, basically. So, this will work pretty good. Alright. And then next in my book bag... I have a planner and I don't know about you but last year I was really unorganized and basically this year I'm just trying to be more organized so it basically just makes life a lot easier so if I have a test or something I'll just write it down in there and be done with it so yeah um and like write down assignments or if I just have homework and, um, like, I don't know, you know how, like, when you're in class and sometimes you get your worksheet or your reading assignment or whatever done, then that's great. But if I didn't get something done, then I would just write it down in here and put, like, math page 8 or something, um, uh, for homework. And then I would remember that I need to do that. So, yeah. And then I have just some locker accessories. So like I have this like holder thing um, for like your pens and stuff. I had one last year and it worked pretty good. So, And then I have a whiteboard. I don't know. And then I have a mirror. And then last I have some juicy fruit because I love juicy fruit. Yeah. And that is it for this pocket. So, moving in to this pocket, um, I have two magnets for my locker. And I have the um, dry erase marker and eraser. So, yeah. And then I have book covers, and I don't know about you, but in my school, we have to have book covers, or the teacher will yell at us. So, I have this cheetah one, rainbow cheetah, a uh, purple, a uh, scented jelly bean one, and a red one, and a green one. And then in this pocket right here, I've got like... Tic Tacs and mints. So for Tic Tacs, I have the Strawberry Fields one, and I really like them, and I'm gonna have one right now. And then for mints, I have Icebreakers Duo and Watermelon. And then in this pocket, I have these. They're not mints. In this Tic Tac um, container, I have bobby pins. And then in this icebreakers container, I have ponytails. So, just an idea if you don't have like one of those bobby pin holders or Sorry, it was just really hard to talk with that Tic Tac in my mouth. Um, but if you don't have, like, one of those bobby pin tin things or, um, a ring for your ponytails, then you gotta always do this. So, yeah. So that is it for my book bag. So, moving on to my gym bag. 
This is just an Adidas one that I got from Shoe Carnival because they were on sale for 30% off. And I just wanted one like this anyways, so I got it. And I don't care that it's black because I like black. So, yeah. Like, I'm not, like, goth, and no offense to the people who are goth, but I like black. Okay? Alright, so basically you just have everything that you would probably want in a gym bag. So, socks, um, shoes, these are my volleyball shoes, uh, Volleyball knee pads, uh, shorts, and a t-shirt, and it says I love basketball. And then I have a mini deodorant because everyone needs deodorant, okay? Like seriously, let's be honest, you need it. Because in our school, well at least for my grade, gym or like PE or whatever you want to call it, it's the first period of the day. So basically if you stink after that you're gonna stink for the whole day and it's just bad. So deodorant and perfume. Uh, for deodorant I just have Secret Cocoa Butter Kiss and the Invisible Solid and it's a mini one and then I have this travel size sweet pea from Bath and Body Works. So seriously you need this stuff, don't forget it cause you guys smell rank. And then, um, a tip for if you don't have a desk for like other school supplies is just get a box like this. My box is from Amazon, obviously. And put all your crap in it. Just like do that. So in here, I've got four things of flashcards, three things of flashcards. And then I have sticky notes, like four things of them. And then I have another whiteout and these things for like, um, last year I had binder dividers. So these were like the things that you slipped into the little like floppy thing on the end. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it will with time, okay? Um, these sticky notes that aren't sticky, I don't use them for that reason because when you try to tear it off, it literally tears off. So, well, that one didn't. And they're just, yeah, they're like basically stuck together, so I don't use them. Um, I got a whole bunch of pens and pencils. Yeah. And then I got some more erasers. So I got like a crap load of those. And I've got more lead. Uh, lead. Alright. So. That's just an idea for if you have a lot, a lot of junk and you don't have a desk, just put it all in here and store it under your bed or something, in your closet, on a shelf. You can even close it up and no one will even notice. Bam. Alright, well now I have a whole crap load of stuff to pick up, so I'm going to go pick that up. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.